first, let's add the power app. Let's go to power apps and search for sum. This is it. Add it to the board. And let's go back to the board. The sum power up will add numbers from different cards as long as they are in the same custom field. But there is more. Let's start with that basic feature and then I'll move to a more advanced option. So naturally, we have to create some custom fields here. And of course, these custom fields have to be number fields. I'll create one here for the ticket price. Let's select number. And another one for the snacks sold on board. Let's select number again. And now it's time for the magic of editing. I'll add numbers to some of the cards here and it will take you only a second to see it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And now when we click here, we can see the sum of all the snacks and all the tickets. This is already pretty cool, but like I said, there is more. Oh, and of course, if you have more custom fields, number custom fields, they will all show up here. But let's say you want to see the sum, but only uh, of cars that are in a specific list. Okay, I'm going to use the sitting down list. As you can see here, I didn't add numbers to the custom fields in this card. This is the only card in the list. So let's click here again. And now all lists. And finally, let's choose sitting down. As you can see, there is nothing here, zero. But if I add a car that has numbers on the custom fields, when I click here again, we can now see the numbers. Let's add more a number. Let's add here 100 here and 10 here. Close this card and go back to that power up. And there it is. The power up added the numbers from the two cards. Pretty cool, right? To learn more about Trello Power Ups, click here. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.